it's crazy because I just don't do it very much. They've gotten better. It's a commodity now. They do two for one deals. And so you get a package and it used to be 10 and they used to be like 20 bucks. Now they've got 20 in them. Buy one, get one free. And I'm like more than a half a year's worth. With that. The opposite of shrinkflation. Yeah. Right. You're getting more for less versus getting less for more. Right. God bless America. No kidding. Where'd the rest of the economy go? Why doesn't it do that? Oh, man, that reminds me of my dad's rant about built-in obsolescence. <laughs> <laughs> Which exists, I believe. Yeah, I'm sure it does. They're like, wait a minute. So if we build a really good refrigerator, they're never going to be a customer again. So we need to build this so that the chip goes bad in seven years. And they do, and then my dad buys it, and then I get the phone call when the refrigerator goes out. Dad, it's probably a chip. <laughs> I don't want chips. Oh, man, the ice maker. There were different things related to that refrigerator. The beautiful thing is that most people, certainly we do, buy that nice five-year warranty. Mm -hmm. Well, you're safe there. It's because it's seven years. It's a seven-year itch is when that stuff starts tumbling down. Mm -hmm. Related to refrigerators, but not related to built-in obsolescence, is that um, interesting fun fact that during COVID, they couldn't keep refrigerators in stock. And the repairmen were so busy because typically some people at home open the refrigerator 20 times a day when they're working. But now they're opening it hundreds of times a day. And refrigerators were failing left and right because of everybody being home all day long opening and closing the refrigerator. That's their exercise. <laughs> they're curled. They're, getting, they're working on their arms. <laughs>